you got some real beauties. Crazy Bernie. You got a choice between Sleepy Joe and Crazy Bernie. And uh, I'll take any of Let's just pick somebody, please, and let's start this thing. The only thing that I'm going to be talking about in this campaign is not responding to his, uh, his early morning tweets, and, uh, but just telling people who he is. Uh, President Trump going through a litany of candidates, including Boot Edge Edge, as he said. Uh, this as the Democratic candidates are trying, uh, all 22 of them, to get on the debate stage in June, the first debate. Uh, the qualifications are as follows as right now. Uh, these are the candidates who have qualified with polls and donors. The, these are the DNC guidelines, 65,000 donors, individual donors. Um, these are the ones who have qualified with polls as they stand and the ones not yet qualified. So that'll be a big debate stage in June. Meantime, a lot of focus on this health care question from Biden. Take a listen. I think that anyone who is in a situation regardless of whether they're documented or undocumented, we have an obligation to keep the well, here's the question. I mean, Matthew, was he saying emergency rooms for illegal immigrants? It was unclear, but then he started talking about clinics. So if he's talking about coverage, actual coverage for illegal immigrants, that's in a different place. If it's in coverage he's talking about, then we're in Bernie land. And this is the problem with Joe Biden. You don't actually know what he's going to say at any given time or what trouble he's going to cause by his words. And he's doing very well now in the Democratic primary. The problem is in two weeks, past two weeks, he's delivered two statements that are going to cause him real trouble in a general election. The first one was when he said that the people who have imprisoned a million Uyghurs and who are waging economic and political warfare against this country, the government of China, are good people. And the second gaffe came today when he left it open that he is for possible health insurance for illegal immigrants, which I'm sure would be unpopular in a general election. A.B., uh, right. is he trying to go left? I mean, obviously, we heard from Amy Klobuchar last night. She's trying to play that center lane. I think that um, there's a difference. I think that, first of all, I think she did very well. I think she was affable, uh, accessible. She had an answer for everything, very senatorial. There's always a bill. But, um, but the audience responded. They were clapping throughout and really engaged with her. And I think she was sort of her at her best. Um, but no one's hungering for a moderate. The reason they're hungering for Biden is they think he's going to win, and they're terrified. So in the course of trying to keep his competition at bay and remain the front runner, he is definitely going to dip into left rabbit holes. And on immigration, the whole party is, or the, the, the driving energy in the party is um, prioritizing immigrant rights in a way that's totally out of step with the mainstream of the country. I mean, that's their biggest. And I think that is going to, that's, he, he I don't know if it's accidental, uh, but that is going to be it a could be the biggest Achilles heel for, uh, in a general. Oh, sure. Oh, absolutely. Oh, and all of this is, it could come back in a general. And the conventional wisdom around here is that Biden is the, the perfect matchup against Trump. But I think what we're seeing, we're being reminded, he is gaff prone. He, he tries this folksy thing, uh, but he says a lot of stupid things. And while Donald Trump says things that kind of shocks people around here, uh, he's not. He, he's pretty good at staying on message and saying the same thing over and over and over again. And and not, uh, you know, n n not giving up the field. We'll have a little time to talk about this Democratic field, yeah. I think. I think so.